All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, what are we, 15 weeks out? 15 You're checking weeks now? Out. Okay, yeah. I got my coffee cup. It's actually just a prop, it's full of water because it's way too late for me to drink <laughs> coffee at this point. I would never sleep. And also brought to you by Bud Light. Not really, we don't even drink beer. No, I don't. But if you pay me, I will say that I do. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about um, difference in her mental approach this year versus last year going into these shows. First off, let's start with it. And, and we obviously, we have a posing video for you so you can kind of see where she's at. Physically, like, where are you at last week, this week versus, versus last, last week? week. Yeah. Um, so I dropped a pound this week, a little bit over a pound, um, which you'll see in the video to follow. Like, I definitely tightened up. A pound is actually <coughs> looks pretty substantial change. Um, so, and I'm going to grow into the show. So there's other body composition changes that are coming into play as well. Um, John did a pretty decent little diet cut for me. Removed my carbs from. That's true. Yeah. I have six meals a day. Now I only have my carbs in my first three meals. So they're around my my training um and you know he told me i'm gonna get a refeed but we'll see we'll see who knows <laughs> now this is probably this is a so, little harder like being 15 weeks out is probably a little bit harder than you dieted this far out yeah i mean well we started prep you know a few weeks prior to doing this you know um but i'm definitely the leanest i've ever been at 15 weeks out and um it's definitely the hardest we've been going at 15 weeks up, take it so to another level it's gonna be ridiculous so for this week we want to cover the topic of just the mental game getting ready to go against the best in the world and having her being prepared to take that next step as far as not going just to show up but actually training to win and what that looks like mentally not just physically i think a lot of times people don't realize like it, you get to the point where they're going to the gym the cardio all that it just becomes so second nature it's like yeah it's like going to work it's pretty you much it. automatic you just do it so it's not that it's hard because we still do work hard but it's not really well, a challenge yeah so let's start with last year okay. like your first year as a pro I, I think it's fair to say you're probably a little overwhelmed yeah i was maybe like a deer in the headlights um you know something i really struggled with last year was i you know social media for you i have followed these girls for many years online and you know you kind of idolize them and they're like celebrities and so then going and standing next to them on stage it was extremely overwhelming and, and intimidating to say the least because you were on stage with number two in the world in 2018 and number two in 2019 both yes. last year correct yes i was those those girls are sick and number five yeah so oh. tough lineups um and so this year how do you feel differently? I mean, your mentality, what's changed? Um, a lot has changed. Uh, I'm definitely mentally stronger. Um, I've done a lot to, um, you know, recognize my faults and what I was, what I was allowing these women to have. Um, and like I said, you know, you see them on social media and then you kind of idolize them and, and you make them out to be, you know, some, some God or whatever. Um, and realizing that I was placing them on this pedestal that I didn't need to be. So I had to bring them back down to planet earth. Um, and then I had to, you know, lift myself up. So, you know, positive aff affirmations, um, recognizing that last year, you know, I could have been kind of like the deer in the headlights and just like, oh, I'm just happy to be here and we'll see what happens. And now it's like, uh, no, like we're in this to win. Um, so I had to increase, you know, my mental strength, um, visualizing myself when I'm doing my friggin', uh, fasted cardio in the morning and just positive, positive thoughts and yeah. building myself up. It really is. It has to be exercised just as much as the body does. Um, I, I think that's so important. I also believe I'm a big believer that confidence comes from doing so. I, I mean, from me watching you, obviously being with you every day, like the work you put in the off season, to me, that goes a long way to build confidence. Yeah, I mean, it does. Um, I do recognize the fact that when I was in my, or when I'm in my off season, I'm on diet the entire time. You know, I'm, I eat cheat meal like once every other week or something. Um, I train hard as hell every day, do cardio six days a week. Um, so I am putting in the work and, you know, there, there's women out there working as hard as me, but they're not maybe. working harder, maybe, but they're not working harder than me. I can promise you that. So recognizing, um, my just, uh, effort, I guess you could say, yeah. or grind. And, and then and, instead of me, <laughs> instead of why me, it's why not me. Yeah, you know? definitely. Um, because the goal of this year is very clear. We've made no bones about it. September. Yeah, I would like to be in Vegas, man. I'd Gotta like be. to be in Vegas. Yeah. So, and the other thing that I just want to touch on real quick so not get too carried away, but the importance of stress management. It's, what does that look like? That's challenging. Um, for me, it's really eliminating the negativity in your life. Um, and that tends to be persons, places, things. I don't know. Um, people, if they're, 
if they're not bringing positivity and doing stuff with their life, um, inspiring you, inspiring others, they don't need to be in your life. Um, and if they're just negative to be around, they absolutely do not need to be in your life. So um, just really kind of putting a wall up and, and really uh, uh, acknowledging who you're allowing to come on the other side of that wall and yeah. what they're bringing to your life. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Yeah. So it's pretty much tunnel vision. Um, and then any problems, we can maybe deal with those in October or something. Something. Um, so anyway, so we'll follow up with the posing video. Yeah. Um, you'll see the changes. We'll do this again next week. Obviously, we'll have a different topic um, and probably a different sponsor because I don't want to wear the same shirt again. Um, and then thank you very much for watching. If there's anything, you, any questions you have or anything you'd like her to cover talking about prep or me, anything, just please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll probably bring something else this week too. Yeah, Who knows? Um, yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And yeah, please let us know if there's something you want. I'm really enjoying having the opportunity to share as much as I can. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Quarter turn to the right. 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 Front double bicep. Side chest. Side tricep. Abs. Back double. 